What's your favorite sci-fi book, author, or series? I imagine there have been some very influential ones for you. Um, the two that leap to mind uh, is, you know, the first is the, the Culture series by Ian Banks, who died a couple of years ago, unfortunately. The Culture series, science fiction series, set far-flung future galaxy-wide uh, society where AI and people live side by side and relate with each other in really weird and interesting ways. And to me, it's one of the better articulations of what a fully post-scarcity, near-utopian future could look like, where people do things because they're interesting and don't have to worry about how do I, you know, how do I pay for my health care or you know, where do I live? It's, it's all there and easy to access. And you then can live your life doing really interesting shit rather than trying to just knuckle down and pay your mortgage. Uh, and the stories are really, are really interesting and provocative. Yeah, you know, one of my favorites is, you know, the story essentially is that you, the way the society punishes people who commit crimes is they create a, a digital copy of the person's mind and subject that digital copy to you know, essentially hell that you are punished forever. As, the digital version of you is being punished forever. That digital version of you that thinks it's you, that has all of your beliefs, has all of your sensitivities, has all of your memories is being punished forever. And okay, that actually is a really fascinating idea. I mean, is it something that we would, you know, how would we think about that? How would, what would we, would we find that offensive? Would we find that compelling? Would we just laugh? I mean, what's the, you know, so uh, Ian Banks wrote some really provocative and interesting stories. The other author that I would suggest, the other series is, it's actually a comic book that it, the, the run is over. So you can actually get a collections of the entire thing. Transmetropolitan by Warren Ellis, the writer, and Derek Robertson, the artist. Transmetropolitan is a story of a journalist in an unspecified future running up against a corrupt government in a world of transhuman technologies and nanotech and invasive social media and really weird genetic engineered food. I mean, think about that for a second. If you can actually create uh, lab-grown meat where you take a cell and, and basically nurture it and you can create any kind of meat from a core cell. And people are doing that with beef. People are doing it with you know, other kinds of, of conventional food meats. There's nothing to prevent you from making a human burger that doesn't require injuring you know, any person. But you, you could create human meat. And, and that's the kind of thing that shows up in this kind of transmetropolitan society. It's just whatever kind of weird future you can imagine probably happening there. And if the culture books are really, you know, for me, the best articulation of what a post-scarcity society looks like, Transmetropolitan is, for me, one of the best articulations of just how weird the future is probably going to be. Like a Black Mirror. Except Black Mirror, imagine a Black Mirror without the overweening uh, pessimism. Yeah, things are pretty screwed up, but people in these futures don't see them as screwed up. People in, the, in this future, yeah, then we deal with it. Yeah, it's, That's you know, things works. are corrupt and things are, are messed up. But hey, there's some really cool stuff happening too. And whereas Black Mirror in the episodes that I've seen, tends, you know, the people there tend to recognize the dystopian aspects. This has been another in our Fringe FM miniseries where we take long form interviews and condense them down to high impact topics. If you'd like to get the full interview, check out the show notes or subscribe. Go to fringe.fm where you'll find tons of audio and video interviews with leaders in the fields of genetics, cryptocurrency, longevity, AI, space, VR, and much, much more. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a quick review in iTunes to help more people discover Fringe FM.